get ready for the dictation. Dictation will start in 5 seconds. Start. Then, sir, I would come to the question of food grains, which is very important. Now, sir, these food grains imports went on, and as you know, 1 million tons of food grains cost us roughly about rupees 50 crores in the second 5 year plan period even when we envisage 6 million tons of food grains being imported and you can easily understand how much money it would cost every year we are losing so much for an exchange because the food production does not measure up to the needs of our country today sir one should have thought that the government should make much more vigorous efforts to increase the food production and for this purpose it is absolutely essential to go into the question of land reforms unless and until land is distributed among the peasants especially among the poorer sections of agricultural laborers and peasants, you can never turn the corner. We have seen how in China, in a matter of few years, they have been able to solve the food problem and there is no difficulty with regard to foreign exchange there. We should have been a self-sufficient country by 1951 according to the Prime Minister. But we are in the darkness and there is no knowing as to when India is going to be self-sufficient. Our manpower and other resources are so abundant that it is quite possible by a little reorganization of our agricultural and land relations that we can turn the corner. Here again, sir, we are losing. Therefore, sir, the foreign exchange position has to be viewed from the angle of our entire economy. The crisis today has come about in that way. Then again, sir, our balance of payments position has been deteriorating year after year. It is no use trying to tell that it is not so. It is no use trying to point to a particular year when our balance of payments position had slightly improved. Everyone knows what is our balance of payments position. Therefore, sir, I think that in all spheres, the government's policies stand condemned and indicted by the pupil. Therefore, a very drastic change is necessary in the government's policies. Now, sir, I would like to make a few suggestions. I know the difficulty that is there, but there should not be any panic about it. No quarter should be given to the slogan full stop. 